Welcome back guys. In this clip, let's see how to set up CI CD pipelines using AWS DevOps tools like Code Build, Elastic Beanstalk, and Code Pipeline. For demonstrating CI CD process, I have taken one sample Java web application which uses Maven as a build tool. We want to deploy our application into Elastic Beanstalk. First, let's go ahead and set up Elastic Beanstalk environment, followed by I will set up code pipeline with multiple stages. Let's select applications, uh, create application. Car rentals app. Choose the platform. We're gonna build war file. So I want to have Tomcat to deploy my code. So right now, let me put a sample application. Uh, once we go ahead and create CI CD pipeline, so that will take care of deploying our original car rentals application. gonna take some time few minutes meanwhile let's go ahead and uh, take care of uh, configuring AWS code pipeline with uh, github integration and code build let's click create pipeline So I'm calling it car rentals app. So let me create a new service role. This role is automatically created for us. So if you want to uh, change a few settings like where you want to store artifacts, once you build, where you want to keep those war files or GIF files. Let me choose, let me go with default location and uh, even I can use some uh, key for encrypting data in artifact store which is our s3 bucket so leave all that default source i want to pull my code from github connect to my github account let's select authorize so once you do that uh, AWS will have access to our GitHub account. Choose car rentals, that's the repository we want to pull. And choose the branch you want to check out. So change detection options, like I want to trigger my pipeline automatically whenever there are changes in master branch. So I use github webhooks this option will automatically configure github webhooks under the repository i selected build provider so pipeline will first check out the code from our github account so that code needs to be built using maven so i want to use aws code build for that because I didn't configure any code build project. So I wanna click create project and, and configure that uh, code build project before we go to next step. car rentals build so we can choose different environment types there let me choose managed image operating system let me choose linux run times choose standard and the version you feel free to choose the version you like but let me go with latest option so if you want some 
uh, root privileges select this but in my case I do not need any root privileges and even this requires a service role that name is auto populated here and code build requires build spec file okay that's already included inside my uh, github uh, repository so if you want to export logs of my build project I could select this option and automatically all logs will be exported to CloudWatch logs so leave all those values default and hit continue to code pipeline now go next so select where you want to deploy the artifacts which is built by our build stage it supports different options there cloud formation code deploy beanstalk ops work and many more in our case we want to deploy the application into beanstalk environment that's our beanstalk uh, application we just created and the environment so in beanstalk we can create multiple environments like dev qa uh, staging production and stuff like that go next review all the details and create pipeline this takes few minutes I'll be back once our configurations are ready it has started our code pipeline and again I'll be back the moment our deployment is completed Still, this process is going on uh, our code pipeline successfully checked out the source from github then it successfully built and created a war file and the deployment process is currently in progress meanwhile let me click on this link which opens our elastic beanstalk environment this could take a few more minutes let's wait looks deployment is also success okay now let me go to that that's the URL of course yeah so we successfully created AWS code pipeline to automate the deployment of our applications which are sitting in github and we use code build to build that application using maven and finally we deployed it into elastic beanstalk environment so i want to go through uh, build spec.yaml so here in the build stage code build expects a uh, build spec.yaml that's the default file name it expects in this I have placed few uh, faces like build so it is just echo couple of echoes followed by MVN clean package and post build I am running few echo commands followed by artifacts right so I am providing the location of our artifacts so here Usually Maven uh, creates target inside target Maven creates a folder with project name um, under that it keeps all the files which needs to be packaged so here I'm not including the war file to be a uh, little cautious here I'm not including the war file I'm including the contents of my web application which is by default kept under car rentals so I'm using star because uh, sometimes this folder name will begin with car rentals followed by the version so every time my version changes I should not come here and change it so that's why I'm using a regular expression and discard paths meaning it's going to discard all these paths and only pick up the content available and in that specific folder 
okay this file is important without this file code build will not work now um, the pipeline is ready correct I want to show you uh, how to release my new changes here let's go to a car rental a github account so go to settings go to uh, web hooks you will notice um, the web hook this one this is the one uh, which is automatically added by our AWS okay so whenever we commit changes to this repository that web hook will trigger our code pipeline and that in turn will automatically check out the code build and deploy it into elastic bean stack environment for demonstrating that trigger let's go ahead and change something in the code so right now the output is displayed in orange let's say in my next release I want this to be in red I am changing the code accordingly I am committing it so because of web hook which is configured that triggers our code pipeline process you can see that it successfully checked out the latest code and it went into next phase that's built let's wait this could take some time so once this process is completed uh, we have to see our application deployed successfully the deployment is success let's open the link and refresh yeah it's there our code got deployed successfully see if you let's say you didn't configure any web hooks you want to release changes manually you can click on this so likewise let's say even I want to maintain multiple environments like I said dev uh, QA staging and production we can do that as well okay so what I can do here I can edit my pipeline and could be customized so deploy so after deploy let's say I want to add a stage name of the stage let's say prod deploy okay probably it's not accepting uh, spaces prod deploy now add action group right action name So action provider, I want to deploy that into my uh, elastic bean stack. Input artifacts. So from where I need to pick up my artifacts, that is the build artifact. See, source artifact is our source code, which which is checked out by our GitHub. And build artifact is nothing but the artifacts which we need to put inside elastic beanstalk environment so application name so we have only one environment I can go to this okay create a new environment prod platform it's tomcat so I can choose existing revision or even I can put a sample application when I trigger my pipeline that automatically overrides sample application with our code create environment meanwhile let's go back here and do a refresh select that and say 
done and finally click save we have source we have build we have deploy and we do have prod deploy right so probably this I can name dev deploy and this I can name prod deploy this takes few minutes to become ready so until that probably this won't work let this go on so let's say I want to have some approval process between my uh, I mean to say before deploying the code to production go and click edit and scroll down see between this prod deploy and just deploy I want to add one more stage which is like I want to take approval from my release manager before that's getting deployed into production we can do that as well approval that's the stage name add action group that's the one manual approval so we need to have some topics through which the email notifications are sent click done and save it even prod is ready now so let's kind of click release changes right now it is in source stage that is checking out the code from our github repository source stage got completed now it got into build stage we are also done with build stage and it's getting into deploy it is deployed into dev environment now it is waiting for the approval so before I promote my war file application into production I have approval process in between I could click on this review so click approved it is in prod deploy process All right, so it's successfully deployed our application into production. Go there, open prod environment, select the link, it's deployed. That's all from the video and that is how we set up CI CD pipelines using AWS native tools like code build, Elastic Beanstack and Code Pipeline. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.